Hi, I'm Jennifer Russell, and I'm here at the beautiful Omni Hotel and Resort in Fort Worth, Texas, at the National Association of EMS Educators Annual Symposium. I'm teaching a lecture today on how to make your first training video. And Start by simply recording everything you think you might want to have in your video. You can zoom in, crop, and make many edits after the video is shot. Don't forget to turn off the autofocus feature on your device so that you don't get pulsations as seen in this video clip. Record all of your footage in landscape view rather than portrait view or else you'll have large black boxes running down either side of the screen. Take your time when taking panoramic shots. This is the same shot taken over 15 seconds rather than 5 seconds. It gives the viewer more time for their eyes to adjust to the activity going on. Another option is to not move the camera at all, but instead import a still photograph and utilize the Ken Burns effect to pan across the picture. If you must move your camera to get the footage that you want, you can always stabilize a shaky video by utilizing the steady cam and rolling shutter features in your editing software. You should always anticipate problems with background noise wherever you are videotaping. You may have to go back in at the end and add voiceover and sound effects. This video was recorded on location at the Omni Resort and Hotel in Fort Worth, Texas, as well as the Fort Worth, Texas Water Garden. All filming was done on my iPad mini using a tripod and a lapel microphone with an extra long cord. Footage was edited and voiceover added on my MacBook Pro using iMovie software and Keynote exported to QuickTime for green screen overlay. Thanks to the National Association of EMS Educators for inviting me to be part of the 21st Annual Symposium, and thanks to the participants of my workshop who refused to let technology get in their way while creating quality education for EMS providers. What up Starbucks, y'all? <laughs>